In this video, we're gonna learn how to start a business with only 500 bucks. I'm gonna give you some reasons that you may have more or less money and why it's just not working out. We're gonna learn how to start a business with 500 bucks. Two, three, four, five. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, business school for hustlers. How you, as a beginner, can get your start. You want to start a business and you have no money, nothing. And you think that's holding you back. As you saw, I just threw 500 bucks on the table. If you got 500 bucks, I want you to take that 500 bucks and put it back in your wallet and listen up. This is what you need to do to get started. Instead of looking at what everyone else is doing, you need to take inventory of your strengths, resources, and things that you can do. Many people online are like, follow the leader or follow the follower. People aren't doing their own work and they're not really exploring the things that they can do to make some money. There are people out there going like, how can I get strangers to give me money? Well, maybe you have some friends with money. Maybe you have a certain competitive advantage. So take some time and do some inventory. And this is the number one thing that you should do. Number one, number one, number one. You should ask yourself this question. Why would anyone buy what I'm selling? If you're one of those people, you don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to sell. You have no business ideal. You just want to make some money. Check out my video, how to start a service business. That's the fastest way to make money when you are broke. Do this, get a sheet of paper and a pencil a pen, whatever, and ask yourself, I want to sell whatever. Why should someone pay you money for it? If you can't answer that question just like that, if you got to go, your idea is jacked. If you can't answer that question immediately, well, okay, Mr. Johnson, it's lawn service. Why should I go with your lawn service? We have the best prices. We have the best service. It should be like coming out like that. And if you have not figure that out, you're not ready to start your business. It's not about money. You can start a business. Once again, you can check out my other video, how to start a business with no money. I'll give you the full deal. It's like 38 minutes. It's on this channel, how to start a business with no money. So it's not the money. If you got 500 bucks, put it in your pocket and start doing these things, figure out the concept, answer the question of why should someone buy this? And then, find out who will buy it. Once you figured out why they should buy it, who's going to buy it? Who's your audience? Who's your target market? Who, who are these people? If you're like stuttering, I, I, I don't know. Then that's how your money's going to be. Like it ain't coming because you have not done the hard work figuring out your unique market angle, your position, whatever you need to do. You haven't done that. And so many people will literally sink hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars into a business off of someone else's work. This happens all of the time. The so-called smart money, it's not about the money. It is about the marketplace. It is about the audience. It's about your execution. To kind of give you a little bit more meat, you start this business for 500 bucks. First thing that you should spend your money on is surveying and market, gathering market information. If you have to spend money to get this, spend that money. Because the more research that you do and the better your research, the better your final product will be. Because you today, the reality is if you know what you're doing, you got good information, you can start many businesses for absolutely no money, but the reason that I put 500 is folks are like, okay, I got to spend 500. You're a little bit more committed than the people who want to spend nothing. The reason so many people want to spend nothing is because they don't have any money, which is a whole nother condition. How do you raise the money if you don't have it? Sell some shit, work two jobs. There's so many ways, but really be careful with your money because here's the thing. Let's say you have 5 million and you didn't do these things, you're gonna get the same result, except you're gonna burn through so much cash so much faster. That's what you're gonna do. Now, number one step is spend a great deal of time figuring out why should someone give you money for your product or service? The clearer you are with that answer, the easier the money will flow. 
Second thing you need to do is test everything that you think will work before you invest hardly any money. If you think that you can do Shaggy Jones car wash, test it before you have the LLC created, you have the business cards created, actually open up Shaggy's car wash informally, see how many cars you can get before you go spending money. Say you wanna be a wedding photographer, go on your Facebook page and say, hey, I'm thinking about doing wedding photography. Anyone that, you know anyone that's getting married that's on a budget, I'll do it for free. Build your portfolio. There's so many ways, but the thing is, when you start with no money or you start with little money, the path to scaling your business is much longer. That could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Let's say you never owned a business before. The slower you go, the better you're going to be because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to waste money. You're going to do stupid shit. If you're going slow, the, the punches are kind of soft. But if you're going fast and you make these mistakes and the punches are hard and a lot of people can't take that first punch. Now, the problem with going slow is someone else may steal your thunder who's better capitalized. That happens all the time because some people think it's all about the money. It's not about the money. If you remember Navigator, you remember Yahoo, then this company Google showed up. They both had more money than Google, but where are those other companies now? It's not about the money, it's about the execution, it's about the market, it's about the research, there's so many other things. What I'm telling you, because this channel now is moving toward the beginner, so I'm talking to you beginner folks. The biggest thing that you can do to move the needle to where you can start making some money is start executing on a daily basis. Shaggy's car wash, the wedding photography, whatever you want to do, wake up tomorrow, or if, you know, depending on what time you watch this video, and actually go out and execute. Ask, talk to people because if you are financially pressed, you're going to have to give a sweat at Gooley. You're going to have to do shit for free unless you just can execute like a ninja. That's really the thing because one of the things I want to do kind of guides you on this journey. I started a new company, Mac Daddy Media, but it's not, it's a startup, but it's not like a startup. So there's a lot of things I could show you if you just go ahead and be subscribed to B School for Hustlers. But one of the things that we're going to get into on this channel is a lot of stuff. And I'm going to give you a business model for those of you who made it this far. What you can do, and this is not, um, well, it's not illegal, it's, but it's a little unethical. You heard of the Amazon Fire Stick, right? Well, this is what you do. You go out and you buy one Amazon Fire Stick. Then you go on to Google and you learn how to jailbreak an Amazon Fire Stick. Once you break it, then you can sell it on eBay. I don't think you can sell it on Amazon. I'm not sure, jailbroken. Probably not, don't do it, but you can sell it on eBay for 100, 175 bucks. Stick costs you 30 bucks, 40 bucks, you jailbreak it. Yes, I'm telling you, I'm giving you information. See, my, my role here is to give you information. What you do with it, that's on you. And it's on you and you and you. And then you run it on eBay, so it costs you 40 bucks, you sell it for 100, you made 60 bucks profit minus your sweat equity and opportunity costs. That's just one way that you could raise a thousand bucks this month if you execute. It's not a business that I think will be around forever and probably there's some gotchas and stuff, but that's just one of the things that you can do to raise some money. Now, these are hustles. And one of the things I'm going to do on this channel is give you a lot of hustles, give you a lot of ways to make money really quick with, you know, low, low, high, high, let's see, high speed, low drag money. That's, you know, that's a military term. Give you that kind of stuff. But realize these, what you're doing is creating a job for yourself, which has all the limitations of a job that someone else gives you or you apply for or earn steadiness of the paycheck. <laughs> that's what you do. But that's the kind of stuff we're going to talk. If you like this content and some more stuff, be sure to go below, subscribe to the live list. It's an email list where on occasion I'll do live training, but you got to be on the list to be notified because I'm not going to just say, hey, we're going to do this live training on YouTube and then do the video. No, we're not doing that. So you got to get on that email list and to be sure you never miss anything, subscribe to Hustlers Kung Fu. And um, that's pretty much it. There'll be more of this, a lot more.